Female orgasm is a complex psychological and biological experience. Reaching and experiencing orgasm is not the same for every woman. The orgasm can result from many types of stimulation, including clitorial, and vaginal, and stimulation in erogenous zones, commonly the nipple area. For most women, orgasm depends critically on stimulation of the external glands of the clitoris. The clitoris has the most nerve endings in the human body. It has legs and vestibular bulbs that wrap around the vagina. The legs and the bulbs contain erectile tissue that fills with blood and expands when sexually aroused. Some women can achieve different kinds of orgasms from stimulation of select regions inside the vagina, such as the so-called G-spot and cervix, or a blend of the two. Erogenous zones are sensitive areas that can provide pleasure and sexual arousal when they receive stimulation. And the nipples are a common erogenous zone for many people. Each nipple has hundreds of nerve endings, making them super sensitive tissue. When the nipples are stimulated, they send sparks in the genital sensory cortex. This is the same area of the brain that's aroused by vaginal or clitoral stimulation. During arousal, blood flows to the genitals, causing them to become more sensitive. As arousal increases, a person's heart and breathing rate may increase. Many women experience rhythmic muscle spasms in the vagina, uterus, and anus during or even after an orgasm. Contractions typically last between 0.8 and 17 seconds, but it can be different. Lubrication begins when the hormones signal to the brain that you are being aroused sexually. vaginal glands start secreting fluids to help the process of penetration. There is swelling in the inner and outer vaginal lips. Although orgasm in women is not accompanied by seminal emission, some women squirt a mixture of urine and skein's gland secretions from the urethra at orgasm, which contain urea, creatinine, uric acid, and prostate-specific antigen. Hormonal birth control during or after pregnancy and menopause may cause some women to find it difficult to feel wet and experience painful intercourse. Without asking her, there is no way to tell if a woman has had an orgasm. An orgasm is both a physical and psychological response. Some women may need to feel love to orgasm.
excessive stress and strains of life, relationship problems, poor physical and mental health, a history of abortion and sexual abuse. Also, sometimes being religious and having sexual shame and stigma could make it more difficult to orgasm. Many females can have another orgasm after the resolution, whereas males usually require a period of rest before having another orgasm. Women do not need to orgasm to get pregnant. However, orgasms may boost fertility. Thank <laughs> you.